Hey everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Today I'm going to review this SMS uh, M400 digital analog converter. This one is a widely popular digital analog converter that measure very well uh, with the uh, good sound reproduction. So compared to other digital analog converter, it's very much comparable any the other digital analog converter in very same price range under a thousand dollars. Fit and finish and build quality very much same as the uh, other SMS uh, uh, this size of uh, components. This is a compact design with a glossy top. The input selections are Bluetooth, coaxial optical, USB and I2S or I2S input selection. Just to let you know, this one is very quiet operation. And some people mentioned that uh, some of the units, they have this knob is wobbly and making noise. This one is pretty solid. It doesn't make any noise or any loose uh, motion. This one is only making that uh, ticking sound from turning the knob. So that is uh, uh, probably they change it or probably they might have some not so perfect uh, control knob. So probably that's what it is. So let's go through the menu real quick. Before that, this is the uh, remote control that come with this unit. So this is just a compass size a remote control functions and feature works very good. And next thing is let's go through the menu. This, if you hit the center button, it gets you directly to the setting. That's the input selection. And next thing is PCM filters, and you can also change the DST filters and preamplifier mode. I use it as the fixed volume mode. I'm not really big fan of using digital analog converter as a preamp. They don't sound the best. And the audio phase, audio phase is for the uh, balance XLR output connections. So as from the factory, it's come as a standard as the uh, Normal, normal meaning one ground to hot, three cold. You can change the feature or that audio phase in this digital analog converter. It will become one ground to cold, three hot. So this is very good feature. A lot of our digital analog converters should come with this kind of features and setting, especially when they have a balanced XLR output because many people use many different components nowadays, not only limited to whatever they're available in their home market. And next thing is I2S mode. That one also has the uh, normal and inverted. So I don't use I2S, so I don't change anything. Uh, it's untouched. And next thing is I2S DST channel. So that is for the I2S DST channel setting. This is I2S DST flag. So that's only matter when you use I2S as the digital input. The brightness setting, that's the factory setting. This version is version 1.5. So that is a setting menu. Probably that's why it says uh, upgraded version on the side of this unit. So I can get very good sound quality out of this unit in my either of my system and they sound very good and very engaging to listen, very musical. That is the most important thing for me. And also this one covers pretty much all the formats, DSD, MQA, you know, regular high res PCM and everything. So this is the one digital analog converter that you might ever need for a few years. And a little downside is it doesn't come with the automatic input selection changing the formats between the uh, you know file type like flag files to dsd dsd to flag files and regular pcm files any formats that you change it doesn't make any noise a lot of people think this is the uh, very same product as the uh, lousy d50 it is not so i will have that uh comparison review in a few weeks. Nowadays, very hard to find bad sounding digital analog converter in general. Even like throw in a little a credit card size a digital analog converter that you get from $200 integrated amplifier sounds very decent. Only except when you go down to noise performance and overall sound characteristics of the uh, digital analog converter. Th those are the only minor 
detailed because a lot of people are happy with the performance and price and you know all the things that they can get in very low price it's only come down to your personal taste and your preference and your system uh, synergy so in my system this sms m400 offer very good great clarity detail sound reproduction with very good meaty dynamic tone character with the uh, very expressive notes compared to uh, SMS uh, on SU9, this M400 has a uh, more, uh, more elevated sound signature. Everything is more uh, vivid and media and more, uh, more separated notes and very clearly shows the uh, difference in terms of price and performance. I think noise performance probably about the same, although they both have a very similar sound characteristic, but uh, only except for minor details. But if you ask me if you already own a SU9, in comparison, in terms of comparison, it's only come down to your personal taste. I will not say which one is better. This one will be better in terms of, a little better in terms of uh, noise floor, and that's about it. Sound signature and overall sound reproduction, they still retain the uh, very similar signature with different uh, take and different sound, you know, reproduction, which is SU9 a little bit warmer and a little less uh, separation between the notes and compared to M400, there are differences. That's about it. So you must choose accordingly based on your taste. I try them in both of my system. Well, as you know, I didn't try with the R11, but this one I try with both my music den and this music room. Personally, I slightly prefer SU9 a little bit more compared to M400 because it's slightly more like a tube, like a warmish tone quality and sound signature, sound reproduction that I really enjoy. But when you compare them back to back, because it will show a totally, you know, different repro sound reproduction, still retaining the uh, very similar sound character. So meaning, you know, if you play them back to back, you will notice the uh, M400 is more offering more you know, pronounced notes and detailed sound reproduction and vivid sound structure with very nicely spacious sound stage compared to SU9 warm and deep sound stage. This M400 sound stage and scale is very dynamic, I would say. Every note is reproduced properly with very good sound signature. Tonally neutral, dynamic, yet a little bit of warmish tone on overall sound signature from top to bottom. Bass performance is very clean, very articulate, and sound reproduction is clearly reproduced as it recorded and very good enjoyable and very good experience that I had with this M400 in all of my systems. Not only this system, I try with two systems in my music den, which you will hear the uh, sound demonstration in my music den and this R11. So everything reproduced with very good spacious dynamic sound with very good characteristic with the uh, clearly reproduced, each and every note is clearly reproduced too as it recorded and you will hear it. Vocals and voices are very accurate, not a lot of uh, coloration there and very clean, neutral sound with very musical soundscape that these kind of affordable digital analog converters can offer. And I try XLR and RCA connections and I slightly prefer XLR because not only is quieter, but the highs are a little bit smoother compared to RCA. That's about it. Other than that, it has a very similar sound structure and character and sound reproduction that this one can provide for your music enjoyment. In my opinion, if you are not picky, if you want very good sound reproduction from a affordably priced, good sounding digital analog converter, I can easily recommend this to you for overall musicality and 
price and performance and quality that you can get in today's market. I think this is a really good uh, sounding digital analog converter with very good performance. This M400 deck should be in your short list if you are considering getting your digital analog converter under $1,000. Easy to recommend digital analog converter for your music enjoyment. It all comes down to your preference, sound quality that you're going after, and synergy with your pairing component. So that is my quick review. And I will have the uh, few comparison review in the future. Thank you for watching and happy listening. Baby